Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. Oh, I love that intro. It was so worthwhile getting that made. Anyway, we're going to get right into this episode. I just want to say a few things. If you do want to be a part of this series, then the link is in the description for you to submit your designs. And you just follow the instructions on the website and it will be easy, really, really simple. And as well as that, um, if you are new here and you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate that. And if you're not new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, then come on. And uh, yeah, we're going to get straight into the video. I'm basing this on three criteria what I think of the design, um, what I think of the marketing behind the design, if it can be marketed, and what I would do to improve the design. And um, we're just going to get through as many designs as we possibly can in about 15 minutes, and then we'll move on. I'm aiming to do one episode every single week, which I've been doing so far, and it seems to be working pretty well. So let's get going. And I just want to say as well, this is just one man's opinion. I am just critiquing your work based on what I think. Some of these designs will go over my head. I wouldn't understand them. Some of them will be good for other people, but not good for me. So this is just my opinion. I want you all to understand that. So let's get started with design number one, which looks to be like a butterfly with Achieve Your Dreams. The picture of the butterfly is quite cool. The font of Achieve Your Dreams is quite cool. I would move the whole thing up a bit in terms of targeting it's a very simple design, so there's not much to say about it, but in terms of targeting, but in terms of targeting, I don't know who you're targeting. I mean, do you have an Instagram audience, a Facebook audience, a YouTube audience? Do you have someone to target? Because it's not really a niche here. You're not gonna target people who like butterflies, are you? So um, it's quite a difficult t-shirt to target. In terms of improvement, I wouldn't necessarily make improvement to the design. I like the design. I would just, like I said, move it up a tiny bit. The font is okay. I would just kind of make improvements to the general niche because there is just no niche here at all. Right, moving on to the next one. Best nurse mum ever. Okay, yikes, this is a crazy shirt. Okay, so start with what I like. Um, so on to the design. <laughs> I, I, I don't really like anything about this design, I'm really sorry. Um, the, 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 the font for the nurse and the mum is like that font that you get in like the Wild West with the gun shooting kind of wanted poster. Um, then you've got another font, the best ever, which is another odd font. And then you've got this really interesting dog with a nurse's hat on it. The whole design is awful. I understand who the targeting is. You're targeting nurse mums here and that's understandable. You can target women who are mums who are nurses that's great but you have to change design also people who nurses who are mums who are women obviously who like dogs because you got the dog here as well i think you tried to put a bit too many levels into this and jumbled up this design to the point where the design is a bit rubbish and um like this there's a lot wrong with it like for example the best nurse it's not even straight with the circle the mum ever's not centered with the bottom of the circle with like whatever kind of circle this is no the whole design's off the the, the targeting is fine mum nurse likes dogs but you've got to make a better design here next design farmers always get the chicks that's quite funny actually i do like this um i do like this a lot i, I would kind of do something a bit more interesting with the text to kind of spice it up a bit i would get rid of the chick photo you don't need a photo of a chick it's really obvious um, or if you were to use a photo of a chick, I would replace the letter C or maybe the letter I with a black and white chick so that it matched the theme because at the moment you've got like this black bold writing and um, then you've got this high quality image of a chick with an egg. So I would just change the design just slightly like that. In terms of who to target, I assume you're going to be targeting farmers. So the targeting spot on there. I don't know how big the, target, the, the farmers audience is but if you had a whole Instagram page, page on farmers and all these kind of things, then this is a really funny t-shirt and I like the saying. The saying is very good, it just the design needs to be tweaked a bit so that it's a bit better. All right, next design, we are back. Um, I, this design's gone straight over my head. I'm gonna ignore it. I don't know what to say about it. You've got, I don't like the color of the we are back. I don't know why he's wearing this, the, the, the the hacking kind of mask. Um, it's a dog, so I assume you like dogs. I, I don't know, I'm gonna skip it because I don't really understand it. 
Drive. This is really cool. Is this original artwork? Did, did whoever did this, did you make this artwork? Because this is really cool. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to use this picture because this is an Audi, what, it looks like an A5 maybe, maybe an A7. So, I mean, surely that, that this image is not gonna be allowed to be sold on a t-shirt, right? That isn't obviously sold by Audi. I mean, that's just what I assume. I, I might be wrong here, but it might just, from experience, well not experience, I've never tried to sell an Audi t-shirt, but I just don't see why this would be okay. Surely it's trademarked, copyrights or something. Um, I would, I do like it though. I like the drive and the colors. Um, I don't like the black border around the word drive, um, but the design is really, really cool. So well done. In terms of targeting, I assume you just target petrol heads. The thing is though, if you're targeting a petrol head, will a petrol head wear an Audi? Or they want to wear like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or a Bugatti, something like that. Unless you're not targeting petrol heads, you're just targeting people who like Audis. Now that is smart. Again though, I would just make sure that you can actually sell this kind of design because I'm not so sure about the car, but I do like it, it's very, very cool. Okay, thank you, you are awesome. Thank you, thank you, so are you, you're also awesome. Um, okay, so if you got rid of the thank you and just moved up you are awesome with this picture that's kind of better the moment you've got this thank you font and then you've got the you are awesome font they just they the fonts clash they do not work together um if you had the thank you in the same font maybe that could work i don't understand what the image is why has the image got anything to do with being awesome it's a woman watering plants sitting a guy sitting on a light bulb and then another woman climbing a ladder to the light bulb why what, who who are you targeting here so you also have to kind of understand who who's your audience so let's move on to criteria two is the targeting right who are you targeting here are you targeting people who are awesome who who is that is that the world is that like are you targeting the song from the lego movie everything is awesome like who are you targeting here you really got to realize that targeting is so unbelievably important when it comes to designing a t-shirt you need a niche there's no niche here um, so in terms of improvements, I said I would remo remove the thank you, you know, move it all up a bit, remove that image, just have the you are awesome is quite cool. And then you need some sort of niche there, unless you have a page on Instagram or Facebook or something where you have, you know, the you are awesome can actually work. All right, next design. F you for buying a dog. <laughs> this is quite funny. That's a super cute cat, my gosh. Um... Okay, this is good. But the thing is, who who would wear this though? Would a cat lover wear this? Because they wouldn't, because they have a cat, so they don't. I mean, why? And would a dog person wear this? No, because they prefer dogs. So like, maybe maybe a cat person would wear this, and they're talking to people who are buying a dog. Like you know, f you for buying a dog, not a cat. But I mean, would anyone actually wear this? I don't know. Also, I'm not a fan of like how the the text is like very childish kind of font, but the. The cat is a very high quality, looks just like a PNG image. So that's the design criteria. The the marketing and the, the targeting and the niche, uh, yeah, you've got cat lovers. I assume you're just talking to people who like cats, right? Cat shelters, cat magazines, that kind of stuff. And then improvements I would make. Um, I don't know, I'm not a fan of this cat. I like how it's covering the CK and the OU so that it's covering the swear word, but I don't know if I'm a fan of the high, high, high quality cat with just classic bubble font, really. So I would probably change either the cat or the font to kind of make it look a bit better. And then in terms of, in terms of, I mean, you could try it. I, I don't think it would sell um, personally, but you can give it a go. Boom motherfuckers. <laughs> Why? Why? Who? Who are you targeting? What is, is are you trying to promote nuclear warfare? What is this? <sighs> okay, it looks like it could potentially be cat people that you're targeting here. Um, the, the, the image is cool. I mean, I don't like that cat, but the image is cool. I like this, the, the little circle with the explosion going into the boom and the motherfuckers and and the cat there but like it's a cool design i just don't know who, who's gonna wear this would anyone wear this no and who are you targeting here you're targeting cat people who like bombs nuclear warfare explosions where's the targeting going? i'm gonna skip past this because i just i got no more words this is ah this is a cool one so this was a guy i remember the email he said that he 
he has like a, I think he's an MMA boxing kind of company and I actually like this a lot. I like the brawler, I like the full stop. I think it's a very classic design. However, you have to understand this, you can't target anyone with this. No one's gonna buy this based on an, an advert seeing this. This will sell, this is the kind of thing that sells if you've got a large audience, or if you've got a huge Instagram following or even just a, a little Instagram following or YouTube, or Facebook, and then you want to bring out merch, this is the kind of merch you'll bring out. The brawler with the big full stop, it's quite cool. I would wear this if I was a fan of your page, you know, into what you're doing, I would wear this, okay? I wouldn't wear this if it was just advertised to me on Facebook or just randomly and I just, or I just randomly came across it because I wouldn't understand it. I'd only understand it if it was merch from your company. So the actual design is really, really cool and I understand it and I like it, uh, but you just have to know that it's, it, it's more of like a merch that you have that goes along with your brand. Moving on, write your name. What? Okay, if this is one of those custom design t-shirts where you someone sees it and they can put their name on it and then the person making the t-shirt will put your name on the t-shirt, making it like a proper custom t-shirt, then I can see this is quite cool. Uh, but this looks like one of those forms that you fill out on Google and uh, it has an arrow saying write your name or like in school taking an essay, but this is on a t-shirt. So there is zero targeting here. I have absolutely no idea who you're gonna target. That arrow is just excessively long. And also whose name is one, two, three, four, five lines long? Like, I don't even have any improvements. Just scrap it. Don't sell this design. I'm sorry. Like, I don't even know who you're targeting here. Right, we have time for one more, maybe. Mm, no, I'm going to leave it there. It's 14 minutes. I don't want to drone on for too long. Look, I hope you liked this episode. I thought it was a pretty good one. There was a few good designs there, a few bad designs there, probably a few more bad than good. But I actually like, really liked it. If you do want to get involved, remember the link is in the description. I really hope you like this video. I hope you like this series. Let me know what you're thinking of this series so far. If you think I should continue with it, then please tell me if you think it's a waste of time. Then also, please tell me I'm always open to everything you guys are saying. I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching this long. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.